I am in the kitchen with private chef Trey Corcoran, brought to us from Sue Casa Magazine. And we're making something that's perfect for the summer. So what are we making? Uh, we're doing watermelon gazpacho today. Ooh, yeah. Um, pretty much all foraged from the farmer's market in Santa Fe. Perfect. So walk yeah. me through the ingredients that you have. Um, really simple. Watermelon, cucumbers, red bell pepper, red onions, um, watermelon juice, of course, a little fresh basil, some hot sauce, uh, uh, olive oil, and red wine vinegar. Sounds like a very fresh recipe. It is. Simple, fresh, perfect for the summer. And we're going to make it in a little bit, but for now we're going to send things over to chat. Kitchen with Private Chef Trey Corcoran, brought to us by Sue Casa Magazine, and we are making a watermelon gazpacho. Mm. It's a so it sounds so yeah. You've already gotten busy uh, cutting up the ingredients here. Tell us what we've got in the blender here, or the uh, the food processor. Uh, we got the cucumbers, tomatoes, red bell peppers, red onions, and some of the basil mm -hmm. in there. So we're going to spin this up. It's super easy. This is a great thing to do during the summer. I mm -hmm. mean, um, nice and cool. We're actually doing it for the dinner Sunday night. So okay, um, okay. which we'll talk about here in just a second. So is this thing ready to give a spin? <laughs> yeah, let's. See if I go ahead and get you just. Go ahead and throw all this stuff except for the olive oil. So tell me what I'm in putting there. in here. So we got this? a little red wine vinegar there. Red wine vinegar. Some good crystal hot sauce. That's what we use in Louisiana, that good crystal. Oh, really? Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And uh, what do we got here? Uh, Make sure of spices. A little sea salt, a little smoked paprika just for a little kicker, and okay. a little black pepper. And then let's put that in the watermelon juice there. So how much are we putting in? About a cup of watermelon? About a cup, yeah. Okay. And I'll just strain that through a fine strainer. Now, gotcha. do you actually uh, cut up and put chunks of watermelon in there or just the juice? Um, just the juice. It's a good okay. thing to do is you could put it in the food processor or the blender. You know, cut the cut the rind off okay. and then just mash it through a fine strainer. And that way, because you know, watermelon can get gritty, and yeah. especially if right. you leave it in the soup for a couple of days. So just go ahead and turn that on, <laughs> and um, maybe just pulse it a little bit. There you go, like that. What consistency are you looking for? Um, you like to leave a little bit of the chunks in there. I mean, you're using obviously like this. Just bought the farmer's market yesterday and so you know you want to leave some chunks in there but it is a soup so you know you want to liquefy it um, and then what we want to do is stream this olive oil in there and we'll just give it a little bit of emulsification so just do that and I'll keep it on for you. Now we definitely want to get to the supper that you have so if people haven't heard of your secret suppers tell us a little bit about them. Um, so we're doing pop-up dinners in okay. Madrid at my friend's gallery at the Art Shack and um, so we started out in my house in Madrid, which started it with 10 people, and now we're up to 25, which is, you know, kind of a challenge and doing the dinners in an art gallery. Mm -hmm. um, but we've really worked out a system over there. Over there, my friend Sabine is doing the wine pairings, and then she's also showing people new art, and we're trying to do uh, coordinate the art openings with the dinners, and okay. so it's it's really been kind so of. So if somebody fun wants to check out one of the, these dinners, how do they do that? Um, you can go. We've we've. Put the menus on her uh, website, which is artshackmadrid.com, okay. and you can get in touch with Sabine on there. We have, I think, four spots left for this dinner. Four so. spots. It's going to fill up pretty quick. Yeah. yeah, and we're doing them once in a month, the last Sunday of each month. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, uh, and who is the featured artist in this? Because I know a lot of times you've had your photography on display. So, what mm -hmm. art are we going to see at this dinner? Um, well, this dinner, she's just we're, she's leaving the show up that she okay. has up. Um, yeah, and um, then you know she has some really great artists. Uh, Nigel Conway, a really famous artist from. Santa Fe is in there, um, and Jade Leva just did a show last month, so a lot of that work is still up, and she's got some of my new work up there as well. And eventually, Fantastic. we'll do—I'll do a whole uh, opening for myself, you know, just cool. butter my own ego there for and do a, <laughs> do a dinner and an opening one night. But we're not quite to that point yet. Okay, so. all right, guys. Well, we're gonna we're gonna plate this up here. We'll see the finished product on the other side of this break. 